Hello, welcome, welcome to uh, Second New Hope Missionary Baptist Church right here in Rollo uh, Township. Uh, we just praise God for this day. Uh, Second New Hope, we're, we're celebrating now our 75th uh, anniversary of ministry, um, helping to meet the needs of others. Uh, we just praise God that he has been able to use us in so many different ways. Um, we have a, have a food bank program where we partner with other churches in the community to, uh, uh, to feed those that are in need. We had a housing program where uh, we were buying houses, rehabbing the houses, and then selling them to, uh, to, to those that were in need at cost. And that was just such a blessing. Uh, we've also uh, started a nonprofit uh, called the Otis Group where we have low income housing and helping uh, uh, single mothers to get back on their feet. And we are just so excited about that. And we also have our educational uh, ministry. Um, it started out with us uh, sponsoring a, a scholarship program for, uh, for those to go to community colleges, full ride, uh, get their associate's degree. And then we branched out also to help uh, this, to, to uh, widen the pot to say that we've been helping individuals, regardless of what college they wanted to go to, that we may be a blessing to them to help um, help give them that footing that what they needed to, to move forward in life and to excel and, and to be excellent. And we also have a tutoring um, program where we, we tutor those uh, children coming up that we can help them with the reading and with their, uh, their math skills. And today we have one of our tutors here, uh, our own sister, Denise Rutledge, I call her daughter. And at this time, Denise. Hello, my name is Denise Rutledge, and I am the reading tutor for Second New Hope. And we understand that the reading gap needs to be closed for children because they, if they are not able to read by third grade, they're held back. So um, we decided to birth the reading program so that we can help close that gap and get the children where they need to be for age-appropriate uh, age reading as well as reading fluently that they may build their skills, that they could be productive going forward in life. I'm also a product of the Burr House, if I may, um, being able to go back to school and get my master's while um, being a member of the Burr House for the single mom. So um, I stand here that I can say that I'm grateful that I was able to do that and I didn't have to worry about internet um, or what was gonna happen with my tuition and things like that. Um, help was afforded and provided for me that I can study and um, and be comfortable and get what I needed to be successful. Good morning and welcome to our ecumenical service. I am Sora Lisa Mayberry Raymond. And I am Sora Ramona Edwards. And we are the chair and co-chair of the May Week Committee. We are here today to celebrate one of the founding tenets of our sorority, and that is excellence in education. And we are proud to be here to celebrate with Second New Hope Baptist Church, who will be this year's recipient of our ecumenical donation from the Southfield Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you our president, Sora Kimberly Owens Callaway. Thank you. And I am um, happy to be here as well. As we present, I would like to call up um, Pastor Burr. We are happy to present Second New Hope Missionary Baptist Church with $1,000 towards your scholarship and educational efforts. We are so happy to be able to help you continue helping the community. Thank you so very much. God bless you. Just appreciate everything that you're doing and so many young people that we'll be able to help because of your generosity. Really, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 